Welcome to the Sage Pastel Accounting How-To Video. In this video, we will demonstrate how to process payments and receipts using the cash book. Firstly, open your Sage Pastel Accounting program and open your company database. You can then click on the cash book icon or go to Process, Cash Book, Process Cash Books. The Process Cash Books processing screen will display. Where you see cash books, click on the drop down and select the cash book that you wish to use if you have more than one cash book. The cash book is made up of two sides, namely payments and receipts. The first thing that you will need to do is to check your settings on both sides of the cash book. Click on the settings button and you can choose between processing this year transactions or last year transactions, whether you wish to repeat descriptions, repeat projects, automatically allocate settlement discount. This refers to the early settlement discount that you would have set up when creating your customers and suppliers. Whether you wish to invoke open item, which refers to open item customers and suppliers. When processing payments and receipts, the match open item screen will automatically populate, allowing you to match the receipts and payments to the relevant tax invoice. Whether you wish to show balloon tips, and when incrementing reference numbers, whether you wish to increment them always, never, or once. We strongly advise that you always increment reference numbers. This means that each reference number will be unique, and when reconciling your account, you will be able to easily reconcile them. If you do not automatically increment reference numbers, and you have transactions with the same reference numbers, these transactions will consolidate, which may make reconciliation more difficult. You can then choose whether you wish to process using tax or not. And if you do choose to process using tax, you can set up a default tax type. This is merely the tax type that will be automatically selected. However, you will be able to change the tax type. You will then need to set in a default entry method, be it exclusive or inclusive. Once you have ticked the settings that are relevant to you, click on close and do the same on the receipt side of the cash book. Please note that you will need to do this for every cash book and on each side of the cash book. Once your settings have been set up according to your preference, you are ready to start capturing your payments and receipts. Payments are where you pay for goods and services rendered to you. Firstly, you would need to select the period to work in. You would then need to select the date of the transaction, as well as if you are processing directly to your general ledger accounts or to your supplier. You would then enter the account that you are using. Once you have entered the account, you would enter a reference number. Once you have entered the reference number, you can enter a description. If you click on the magnifying glass, there are preset descriptions for you with abbreviations. You can use the abbreviation to quickly enter the description. You can set up new abbreviations or you can use the preset abbreviations. Alternatively, you can type in the description using your keyboard. If you are processing to an open item customer or supplier, you will not be able to set the tax. The reason for this is that the tax has already been allocated on the invoice. Enter the bank amount that you, need, that you are paying and you can then enter a discount and a project. When you tab to the next line, if you are processing to an open item customer or supplier, the open item matching screen will automatically display, allowing you to match the payment or receipt to the relevant tax invoice. Tick which invoice to match to and click on close. You can now continue to process all of your payments. If you are processing directly to the general ledger, under the GCS column, you would select G. Again, under account, you would select the magnifying glass and select the relevant general ledger account. For example, accounting fees. You can now select the tax type as well as enter the total payment. Once you have entered the total payment, you can enter a discount as well as a project. There will be no matching involved here. Enter all of your payments accordingly and then go to your receipt side. Receipts are where you receive money for the services and goods that you have given. 
Again, select the period as well as the date. You can select between your general ledger or your customer. If you select customer, select the relevant customer who made the payment and enter a reference. Enter your description and then enter the bank amount. Remember that if your customer is an open item customer, the tax amount will be grayed out as the tax has already been allocated on the invoice. Enter the value that the customer has paid you. You can then enter a discount as well as a project. When you tab to the next line, if the customer is an open item customer, the open item matching screen will automatically populate, allowing you to tick the option to match the payment to the relevant tax invoice. Select which invoices the payment applies to and click on close. If you are going to process directly to the general ledger account, you would select G. Again, by account, click your magnifying glass and all the general ledger accounts will display. Select the relevant general ledger account and you will notice that the reference numbers are incrementing automatically based on my settings. Enter the description and again, enter the tax and the amount that you received. If you tab to the next line, you will see that because this is directly to the general ledger account, the open item screen does not automatically populate. Enter all of your receipts accordingly. Once you have captured all of your payments and receipts, you are ready to update your batch. You can then click on update. You will be asked if you wish to update the receipt batch, if you are on the receipt side of the cash book, or if you are on the payment side, if you wish to update the payment batch. You can also select the option to update payments and receipts batch. Select which option you wish to use and you will then be given the process cash book update cash book processing screen. You can then tick the option to back up before updating, to print the batch and if you are using checks to print checks. Make your relevant selection and you can click on update. If you select the option to backup before updating, the file backup screen will display asking you where to backup and to select a folder. Make your selection and click on process. You will be advised that Pasta is ready to test your backup and to click OK to start the testing operation. Click on OK. Once the backup has been tested, you can click on close. The batch will then be updated to the general ledger accordingly.